Hi everyone, it's Heather. I wanted to film my July makes for you and I just want you guys to know my life is like a hot mess right now. So I really wanted to share these because we are like legit in the middle of moving right now. I'm super excited because so many fun things are happening in August. We have some family coming and staying with us um, and visiting. And then we also have Aaron starting back to school. So that's so fun and exciting. Um, and I definitely want to sew a few more things for her um, for fall. So you guys know I love making little matching outfits for my daughters. My youngest daughter, Olive, is one and a half. And then my older daughter, Erin, is seven, almost eight years old. And so I made these clover tops. Violet Field Threads <laughs> is where this pattern is from. And it's super cute. So this is what it looks like untied. It pretty much just ties um, at the, at the you know, hip area. And then it has like a button um, closure on the back. Um, some of my top stitching on this is not fabulous, <laughs> but I kind of batch sewed both of them together. And so I really love how they turned out. They look super cute. So there was the one for my younger daughter. And then here's the one for my older daughter. And this one is tied here. So you can kind of see how it looks. It's super adorable on per usual. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some pictures of them wearing them because they look super adorable, way more adorable than they look on the hangers. So you guys are going to see pictures of them wearing them right now. So keeping on the Violet Field Threads train, I also made the Clover skirt. So the pattern for the Clover top and skirt come together. Um, they're regularly priced at $10, but I actually got them on sale for six. So six bucks for both patterns and I can make them for both of my girls um, is a really good deal. So I went ahead and um, I made the skirt and I only made this for my older daughter. Um, and this turned out so cute, you guys. It's so twirly, so fun. Um, the only thing that I don't love about it is that I made it out of this very sheer fabric. Um, which is not fabulous, but you know, for the first time trying out the pattern, um, and now that I know I like it, I could use some nicer fabric to make it. Um, I used some bias binding on the inside. Um, I attached the skirt a little differently because I don't have a serger. And I mean, it's not great, <laughs> but it looks better. It looks better than a raw edge on the inside. So it's just kind of um, a high-low skirt. And yeah, I'll insert a picture of Erin um, wearing it, maybe twirling in it, because she loves her twirl. And then to go along with that, I also made, this one is a free pattern from Violet Field, Violet Field Threads. <laughs> this is a free pattern. It's a little shorty pattern. It's going to be so hard to see because they're white and it really gets washed out. These I made super fast. So I made her that clover skirt. And like I said, it's a little bit sheer. <laughs> and so I wanted to make her just some little white, you know, shorts to go underneath. And I mean, when I hold them up, they're going to not look great but on her they look fine because they're knit so they like stretch and you know fit around her legs fine they're gonna look a little wonky it's really hard to see it looks really bad but they look cute on they're just like little ruffly shorts and um yeah i think that the next time that i make them they'll look a lot better <laughs> and also i was just trying to get these done just so she could have something to wear under that um skirt and these will really only ever get worn under something they're just little shorts to you know for modesty or whatever so these are super cute um, and I'm definitely gonna make these again. All right, the next thing that I made was the monkey bar skirt from Hey June Handmade. Um, this is a free pattern and it's just a little skirt with built-in shorts underneath. So um, she's got these little shorts and then the skirt over top and I did add length to this skirt. I added an inch of length. It just looked too short and I mean, I. I know it has shorts underneath, but I added an inch of length to them and I love it. I think it looks super cute. The only thing with this one is because the waistband is just kind of like a knit waistband, um, it is a little bit big on her. So maybe next time I'll do like an elastic waistband or I'll just cut a size smaller. 
So otherwise it's a really cute skirt and I love that it has the built-in shorts. If you can hear that, <laughs> it is my cat at this door being awful. Do you want in? This is my cat, Oreo. I have two cats. So I have three items left to show you and two of them are like a giant fail. So um, this next one I made from a um, simplicity pattern that I already had. I'm just going to have to put down here um, what the pattern is. And <laughs> cats. I, you can tell when it's on my daughter that it was an older pattern. I do love some of the details though and I think that I could make this to where it'd be really cute and it was a super fast sew. I would think it would make a really nice pajama um, top, like tunic-y length top, or even just like a nightgown. Um, it just it has that like loose, um, it's not a fitted style dress, and so it's a little bit loose through the bodice, which is great for, you know, pajamas. So it has a really cute um, tie detail up here. So these are actually just two um, pieces of fabric that are tied. And then it has this really cute placket and I did all this ruffling and I think it looks really good. Um, and then it's got like a long skirt and then the ruffle at the bottom. And I'll insert again some pictures of my daughter wearing it. She looks really cute in it, but like I said, I think you can tell it's like an older um, style dress. I also think that maybe this fabric also isn't doing it any favors like I think it looks cute but I think this fabric looks kind of older style too and I think just together they're not like not doing it for me Erin <laughs> obviously loves it and she's been wearing it a ton but what do you think do you <laughs> oh my goodness all right the very last thing that I have to show you guys is this is the um, peplum top from Peppermint Magazine um, on their website. I made that gorgeous um, pleated dress in my last video and everybody loved it. I love it. I wear it all the time. So I wanted to try another one of their patterns. So here's the problem I ran into. I really wanted to make this peplum top, but it wasn't quite what I was wanting. It was definitely like a loose fit. Um, and I really didn't want that. I wanted it more fitted. And what I should have just done is found a pattern that was more along the lines of something that I wanted because I'm not, I'm not like a super skilled seamstress and I don't really know how to like change a pattern um, that's supposed to be flowy and make it into more of a fitted one. And I tried anyway, and it's a really cute um, pattern. And I actually think I like my first iteration of it better than my second. My second one's kind of a hot mess. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So here's the first one. And in this one, all I did different from the pattern because it looked a little bit cropped and I'm 5'11". So I obviously, anything that's cropped on someone like a regular height is gonna be way more cropped on me. So I added an inch to the top bodice. And then I felt like this, like this ruffle is not hemmed. And when I put it on, I was like, wow, this is still like really cropped and I don't really like it. And this ruffle I felt like was already too short and that it would look way more short. And this also isn't like a super flowy fabric and I just didn't like it. I just abandoned it pretty much. I mean, it's super cute. It has this like scoop neck and then in the back it has this V. And I mean, I like the little details of it, but I was like, okay, whatever. Like I will just do more adjustments and make it again. And I mean, this just looks bad on me. It's not a fitted top and I tried to make it into a fitted top and it just doesn't look good. It would need, I mean, I'm going to have to go back in. If to, if I wanted to make this wearable, I would have to go back in and add bust darts. And this part is just too flowy. This fabric is super, super cheap, awful fabric that I bought at Walmart for like a dollar a yard. And it feels like a dollar a yard. It's just not good. It was just a bad idea and attempt and a total fail. So I think those are actually gonna go in the trash. Even if I fix this to where it fit me nicely, it's still really bad fabric and I still just don't like it. <laughs> so that was kind of just a waste of time um, because I made two tops that I just don't like and I don't think look good on me. I'm really happy with the other things that I made for my daughters. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful back to school season and I'll get back to you soon. Bye!